Hey everyone, it's The Final Cut. Thanks for stopping by our little sliver of the internet today as we take a look at an independent horror anthology film. It's called, uh, it, well, it's Phil Herman's Doomsday Stories, or just Doomsday Stories. And uh, yes, brought to us by director Phil Herman, as well as directors Derek Brash, uh, Marcelo uh, Fabani, and even Joel D. Weinkoop uh, gets a short in this anthology. The wraparound story is Zorak, uh, is a gentleman who's traversing the wastelands of Earth. See, Earth got infected uh, by uh, something that was referred to as the meanies. Yes, that's right. And over the course of the years, there's been uh, no uh, vaccine for the meanies, and more and more people uh, just got infected, turning them into violent violent savage folks that eventually become kind of like these violent zombies a la 28 days later but zorak isn't infected and we see as he travels through this wasteland he recounts stories of events that have happened either before during or just after uh, the outbreak uh, Doomsday Stories is done on a small budget, but they make most of it. I always love anthology films. If you've watched this show at all, you know, I really dig them, especially the indie ones, because you get to see these short films that uh, were featured maybe in festivals or whatnot. Uh, and, and it's a great way to kind of break things up a bit. Uh, now, the character Zorak in this wraparound story was actually introduced way back in 92, uh, I believe, by Phil Herman in uh, 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 Hell on Earth Arena of death and now he's back here telling this uh, wraparound story and I loved the character of Zorak quite a bit he was very entertaining uh, very interesting and uh, yeah as far as production value goes for each of these it varies as it does with a lot of indie uh, you know anthology films but uh, for the most part I, I dug the production value they work within their budget there's one called uh, The Broken Promise which was directed by Derek Brash who uh, it's got some emotional punch to it uh, i didn't expect that it plays out very interestingly it's edited uh very well for the most part uh yeah and, and i like how again they work as for the special effects as well within uh, their budget there's also uh joel d Weinkoop's 187 times which they're actually turning into a feature which is cool because i loved the story joel doing sci-fi uh we get some special effects in here the graphics actually looked uh, really good in here and it was an interesting story uh, of dealing with time travel and and the motivation of the character of why he's traveling back in time i i dug it and it was tied to the overall theme of doomsday stories so that worked out well too uh there's one called bomb threats in here that i thought showed the dark side of uh, humans <laughs> and it, it, they did a great effect by working with uh, sound effects and such to convey the idea of uh, the uh, outbreak and doomsday and just chaos going on on the outside without having to show all the footage but yeah they work within their budget here now if you're not used to the smaller budget aesthetic it may turn you off and i will say for some of these uh, the audio was a little off in some spots you could tell that it was voiced over in that but again they're working with a small budget and this was actually shot i think uh, during a covid outbreak that they made this uh, so uh, all these shorts and yeah there's some other wonderful shorts in here as well each one kind of telling a story most of them stay pretty serious uh you know uh, maybe a little bit of tongue-in-cheek in there especially with joel's but even there that takes kind of a serious tone uh, eventually as well and uh yeah i I dug this anthology. Uh, it's why I like watching anthology films with the series of short films we have in here. They're all competently made. Uh, the some though some people may not be able to get around the uh, smaller budget aesthetic I think there's fun to be had here with doomsday stories so uh, there you have it folks uh, check it out if you're familiar with any of these other folks work then you'll probably enjoy it quite a bit if you're a casual watcher uh, it, it may not appeal to you at all uh, but there's still a lot of cool things that are happening in uh, this film so there you have it thank you so much for watching please check out our patreon if you haven't already i appreciate you listening to me ramble please help us hit 2500 subscribers by the end of the year only do that with your help so i thank you for your support and until next time remember keep that ticket stub